Welcome to Flipkart Advertising. In this video, you will learn how to create a product contextual ad campaign for your brand. You can run product contextual ads on your products on Flipkart as well as Supermart. Now let's create a campaign. The first step is to choose the ad account. If you are an ad account admin or a campaign manager, you will be directly logged into your ad account. If you're a business account admin, you can use the account switcher on the top right to choose your ad account. Before you create your campaign, ensure that your ad account has adequate funds loaded in the wallet. Once you have done so, click on the campaigns button on the left side. Now, click on the create campaign button and choose product contextual ads as your campaign type in the pop-up window. The first step is to fill in the campaign name. Next, you can decide your campaign schedule, budget, and pricing. You can either select an end date for your campaign or use the option to run the campaign till the budget ends. Next, enter a campaign budget. Then choose from the budget option as total or daily. Daily budget option helps you to define your campaign budget on day-to-day -day basis. You need not block your complete campaign budget upfront. In case you are selling your products on both Flipkart and Supermart, you need to select one of the platforms to run your campaign. Click on Continue to proceed. The next step is Ad Group Creation. Ad groups contain set of products on which a defined strategy like bids, schedule, banner, etc. would be applied to help achieve advertising objective. When a user clicks on a user banner, it would take the user to a list of products that fall under the respective ad group. Click on the Create Ad Group button. Here, the first step is to fill in the ad group name. The next step is to create a product collection you want to advertise. The product collection can be created by two ways, rule-based or ad hoc. Rule-based allows you to advertise products based on defined conditions like pricing and discounts, whereas ad hoc lets you advertise a curated selection of products. Let's explore rule-based ad group creation first. First, choose your brand and the category you want to advertise in. Next, define rules based on minimum and maximum pricing and discount within the selected brand and category. You can choose to define just the price or the discount by leaving the other field blank. Now click on Generate Preview on the right side of your screen to view a representative set of the products that would be advertised based on your rules. During the campaign duration, if more products qualify under the set rules, it will automatically become part of the campaign. Similarly, if products go out of stock or stop qualifying under the rules, they will be removed from the campaign. You also have an option to only advertise your F for short products. Then, click on the next button to view auto-generated creative banners along with the option to create dynamic creative banners. For dynamic creative, click on the dynamic creatives button and upload your creative. You can add up to three images and two titles for one ad group. Click on the plus symbol to upload images. It would display the logos already uploaded under the campaign account. You can select any of these images along with custom images by clicking on custom uploads tab. Please note, all images can be either in .jpeg or .png format with size exactly as 800 pixels into 800 pixels. Click on Upload Image, select the images and then click on Add. Next, add title in the input box provided. To add additional title, click on Add More. The preview column display all the six combinations of ads that is possible. Click on Generate Creatives to proceed. Auto creative banners are generated by the system and feature either the brand logo or an FSN image. The system selects a featured FSN image, which is among the top FSNs on the user landing page after he clicks on the ad. You can remove a creative from your campaign by clicking on the X button on the top right of the creative. You can choose to remove or restore any of the creatives as and when needed while your campaign is running. Click on the Next button to proceed further. Here we need to decide ad group budget, duration, pacing bid and keywords. First, enter the ad group budget limit. Here, the budget option would be auto-selected as daily or total, basis selection at campaign level. 
this is non-editable at ad group level. Now, decide the ad group duration, which cannot be greater than the campaign duration. The next step is to select budget pacing. You can choose fast burn to display your ads across relevant searches as and when they happen or divide your ad group budget equally among all days of campaign duration. Do note that keywords targeting works only on search pages. Next, under advanced targeting, click on select keywords. Do note, under advanced targeting, any one of the two options from show ads in related stores and select keywords can be chosen. First, let us get acquainted with the terminologies like keywords, search terms and match type. Keyword means what advertisers target against their banner or group of products in a PCA ad group. Search terms refer to the content entered by the user in the search box on Flipkart. There are two types of match types, exact match and broad match. A targeted keywords and its match type translate into a set of search terms on which the ad is eligible to be shown. So when a keyword is targeted as an exact match, it can appear on search terms which are the same as the keyword and close variants. There are four variants on how the search terms reflect with respect to the keywords. Variant 1. Case Sensitive Here, if the targeted keyword is wallet with a capital W, search term would also include wallet with a small case W. Variant 2. Spell Errors Let us assume our targeted keyword would be S H O E S Shoes so even if the user enters S H U S shoes, our PCA ad would be displayed to the user. Variant 3 Singular or Plural Here targeted keywords, plural or singular words are also included in search terms. For example, watch and watches. Variant 4 Filler words So in case of targeted words, like shoes for men, search term would also include shoes men, where filler word for is ignored in search terms. Including the exact match variants, there are additional three variants for broad match. The additional variants in broad match are variants 5, subquery. Here, for targeted keywords running shoes, search terms would include men running shoes, running black shoes, running shoes red, etc. Variants 6. Reordering Here the search terms include reordering of individual words in a targeted keyword. Example, for targeted keyword blue jeans, search term would include jeans blue also. Variants 7. Synonyms Here, synonyms of the targeted keyword are also included in the search term. Example, for targeted keyword mobile, search term would also include phone. Now let's see how to use the platform to define keywords for the ad group. Next, click Add Keywords button under Select Keywords. A slide will pop up from right. Here, when you take your pointer to any of the suggested keywords, there are two options to add it namely, broad and exact. You can choose as per your needs to add on the keywords in respective match types. These keywords suggestions are sorted in descending order of their estimated search volume. You can also upload a CSV of the list of targeted keywords by first downloading the template, entering the details and uploading the same file by clicking on Upload a list of keywords as CSV. Keywords can also directly be entered into a text box of relevant match types. Note, you can target up to 100 keywords, broad plus exact. Permissible length of a keyword is maximum 80 characters. Estimated search volume is displayed on the top right side which has to be refreshed every time we do modifications in the keyword selection and match types. You also have the exclude keywords option where the keywords entered would be excluded from search terms and the ad would not be displayed to the user 
in case he enters the same keyword. You can also upload a CSV in exclude keywords and maximum of 100 exclude keywords can be entered. Click on save. Here, all keywords would be pre-processed and saved in small case and filler words would be removed. Then fill in your CPC base bid amount. This is the amount you will be charged for each click on your ad. Now, you can place different bids on top of search. Rest of search, top of browse, rest of browse. You can also choose to expand the reach of your ads by showcasing them on searches in similar categories, like displaying your shampoo ad to a user searching for a conditioner. To do this, check the Show Ads in Related Stores box. Then, click on Save Ad Group to complete ad group creation. Now, let's understand how to use ad hoc product collection. Here you can select specific products manually to advertise. For that, choose the brand and category from the drop-down options. Once selected, you can now search down products by name or FSN. You can choose the name filter and search for products with relevant terms and select them as they appear. To search with FSN, add multiple FSN with a comma separating each in the search bar. If you have the list of the FSNs of the products for your campaign, you can use the Upload Product CSV feature by downloading the CSV template, adding FSNs and re-uploading it. Once the products are selected, click on the Next button, which will take you to Creative Selection followed by Bidding page. Once an ad group is created, you can use the Add Ad Group button to create more ad groups similarly. Once ad group creation is complete, click on Continue to proceed. On the next screen, you can review your ad group and campaign settings. Ensure that all the details are correct and then click on the Submit button to launch your campaign. With this, your PCA campaign has been created. Stay tuned for our next video to know more about the reporting feature on the Flipkart Ads platform.